Hey y'all, it's Pierre Bot from Game Press, and we are here to talk about the upcoming events that we are going to have in the month of August. So we're talking about August of 2023. First up, we have our seasonal. It is going to start on August 2nd, which is a Wednesday, 2023, and it is going to go through Wednesday, September 6th, 2023. And the reward for the season is going to be Diablo Ceratops. Uh, as usual, uh, how much Diablo DNA you get is going to be dependent on how many trophies you get in the arena. So um, there's a chart. You can see the various rewards based off of your, your highest score. Um, so it is not your final. It is your highest score, which means, for example, if you uh, your highest score is 5,700 trophies or higher, you are going to get at least 1,200 trophies. Diabloceratops DNA. So good luck to everyone in the season this month. Next, we have two different Isla events. The first is the Afflictor's Assault, and that is going to start on August 2nd at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's going to go through August 15th at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And you are going to be able to use the following creatures in this assault. Alloraptor, Allosaurus Gen 2, Amphicyon, Anurognathus, Arctotus, Carbotoceratops, Clever Girl, Diabloceratops, Direwolf, Indolycan, Lystrosuchus, Rex, Porosaurus Gen 2, Rodriguez Solitaire, Sinoceropteryx, Spinoconstrictor, Titanoboa, and Toro. Um, so you are going to be able to, it looks like, based off of the image, it could be a frog DNA, uh, but we'll have to see whenever that goes live in the game on Wednesday. The next Isla event is going to be the Dawn Assault Part 1. That is going to take place on August 23rd and go through August 29th. So this is going to be a very short Isla event, and it looks like Yushisaurus is going to be the DNA rewards, and the following creatures are going to be eligible for you to use. Alacranix, Ankylosaurus Gen 2, Dinochirus, Diorajasaur, Direwolf, Dezunga Scorpius, Fukuisaurus, Megalania, Megalotops, Microraptor, Panthera Blythe, Segnoraptor, Sinoceratops, Spinoceratops, Stegoros, uh, Styracosaurus Lux, Tarbugnathus, Therizinosaurus, Toro, Tuojangosaurus, and Yushisaurus. And then finally, we have the Dawn Assault Part 2. Um, this one also says you're going to be receiving exclusive DNA. The image looks like Microraptor, but that is currently eligible on the map. So uh, we are not sure what that exclusive DNA is going to be, um, but it is going to be this specific assault is going to be active from August 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time through September 5th, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the following creatures are going to be eligible during this assault. Acrocanthosaurus, Ankylos Lux, Antarctopelta, Antarctovenator, Archaeopteryx, Archaeotherium, Ardontognathus, Beelzebufo, Darwin Opterus, Diloronosaurus, Dezungaripterus, Erlicospix, Eoplosophalus, Kula Borgiania, Parasothops, Scutophysion, Sinoceropteryx, Smilocephalosaurus, Worisaurus, and Yushisaurus. So that is going to be all of the various Isla events that you are going to be able to compete in throughout the month of August. Next up, we have our tournaments. Now, this is a five tournament month. So we are going to have five tournaments possible, which means it's more likely for alliances to be able to hit that tier 10 and tier 9, which is pretty awesome. So first off, on August 4th through August 7th is going to be our first tournament of the month. It is going to be a coin tournament. And it is going to be a common and omega all. 
and the creatures are going to be set to tournament level. So this is going to be a skills tournament with common and omega. Next up for the tournaments we are going to have on August 11th through the August 14th is going to be an advantage tournament with common and omega all and the rewards are going to be catalysts. So depending on your ranking, you will receive bronze, silver, and gold catalysts. Uh, once again, this is an advantage tournament, so all creatures are gonna be set to the default level and boosts will be enabled. And we are gonna have common and omega. Next up on August 18th through August 21st, we are going to have a stat boost tournament. The creatures eligible for this tournament are going to be common, rare, epic, legendary, unique, and omega all. Uh, so this one's got a lot of options in it. It is going to be a skills tournament, and that means all creatures are going to be set to tournament level 26, and stat boosts will be disabled, and the rewards are going to be boosts. So depending on what level of the tournament you end at, you will be receiving attack, health, and speed boosts. August 25th through the 28th, we have exclusive DNA tournament. This is an advantage tournament. It is going to include common, rare, epic, legendary, unique, and omega all. Since it is an advantage tournament, all the creatures are going to be set to de default levels, which means it's going to be whatever level you have them at, and stat boosts will be enabled. The rewards are going to be Titanoboa DNA and Spinosaurus Gen 2 DNA. And then finally, the last tournament of the month is going to be an exclusive cash tournament. This one is going to include common, rare, epic, legendary, unique, apex, omega, all. So basically, every single creature is going to be eligible in this tournament. It is going to be a skills tournament, which means that all creatures are going to be set to tournament level 26, stat boosts are disabled, and it looks like there's a restriction of only three takedowns needed for the Alliance bonus, uh, which is interesting, but just be prepared. There's gonna be a lot of different teams available in this tournament and that you'll see. The rewards are going to be hard cash. So depending on what level you place at, you will receive some form of hard cash for the tournament. Make sure to um, keep an eye out on the Game Press website as well as this YouTube as each tournament weekend um, Game Press is going to have, especially for the skills tournaments, suggested teams. I know this channel also does battles and you'll see some battles going on so you can kind of get an idea of what teams work in the tournament. So make sure you stick around and uh, keep an eye on all of that. Next up, we have the Alliance Championship. So obviously you're gonna be competing in tournaments in order to gain points towards your Alliance Championship for your Alliance. It is going to start on the 2nd of August and it ends on September 4th. And the reward for Alliances is going to be Toro DNA. So um, whenever you're competing in, in your tournament battles, this is what you're gonna be competing for. So the Alliance Mission Rewards, we have two different sets of rewards that we're going to be uh, having for the month of August. On August 14th through the 28th, for defense missions, we're going to see Brontotherium, Glyptodon, Arctotus, Servalsis, and Euclidoceros. Exploration missions are going to be Soliurosauravis, Sinoceropteryx, Compsognathus Gen 2, Archaeopteryx, and Compsognathus. And then the next set of Alliance mission rewards are going to be August 28th through September 11th. That is going to be on defense missions, Soliurosaurus, Dilophosaurus, Dilophosaurus Gen 2, Dilophosaurus, Proceratosaurus, and Monolophosaurus. And then for the exploration missions, we are going to see Allosaurus, Monolophosaurus Gen 2, Arctotus, Intelodon, and Allosaurus Gen 2. Two. And as with the Alliance missions, obviously how much DNA you get is going to be dependent on what level you're able to reach within your Alliance. So work together to dart and get your battles done to move through those Alliance rewards. 
We have our creature of the month. Pulmona Scorpius is our creature of the month. It's going to start on August 2nd and end September 6th. So as you're working through your daily missions, you're going to be able to collect Pulmona Scorpius DNA, which is pretty awesome because that is an exclusive creature. So we like seeing exclusive creature DNA with the creature of the month. And then finally, we have our pass. They also announced the next pass. It's going to be called the Afflictors Pass. It's going to focus on the newly introduced affliction spe specialist, the Omega Megalania. This one is intended to only last three weeks. So because of that, the amount of steps was reduced to 25. So you're not gonna have to go through 30 steps to get through all the, the levels of the pass. It is going to be 25. Some of the other DNA you will receive in addition to the Megalania, um, you're gonna have Ankylosaurus Gen 2, Constrictor Raptor, Dilophoboa, Dilophosaurus Gen 2, Megalania, Nautosaurus, Panthera, Titanoboa, Titanoboa Gen 2, and Yushisaurus. So these are actually some pretty good DNA. There's lots of exclusive DNA in there. And then there's also going to be an exclusive skin for Yushisaurus. And then it says customization items to personalize your profile. So we're assuming um, possible badges and or emotes. As of right now, we do not see anything with any type of uh, boost reset tokens, which is we did get those in the last pass, but I, we do not see them as as of this moment in this pass. The pass is going to be active from August 2nd of 2023 to August 23rd of 2023. So keep those dates in mind. They did say it will only be a three week pass. Um, so work through your missions to collect your points in order to move up to the next levels of the pass. Obviously, as usual, make sure to click the subscribe button on this YouTube channel so that way you can keep up with all the fantastic information and up-to-date information in the world of JWA. And thanks for watching, y'all.